She really is a force to be reckoned with. To Golden Compass. Golden Cairo. We'll be looking for the hat trick of gold here in Doha. Absolutely no introduction. And finally, from Panama, Uzbekistan. Looking forward to seeing her in action. An absolute veteran of the sport, an incredible athlete. Well, just as the men's floor is a high quality final, this one promises much of the same. An Chang Ok getting us underway to start two medals at World Cup level already this year. And of course, that athlete there, Chisvatina of Uzbekistan, an incredible gymnast who's still competing in her fifth decade. It shows the real desire she still has, the real hunger she has still for this sport. It really is quite inspiring to see. That is Deepa Kamaka of India, who we just saw in shot there. She'll be going second on the vault. So in terms of qualification for Paris, Georgieva, Valentina Georgieva of Bulgaria, she will be on that plane to Paris, as will Anne Chang Ok as well. That is the start list, and it is Carla Navas of Panama who goes last. She was the strongest in qualification, so that will be certainly interesting to see. We've got Anne Chan Ok kicking us off, and then the best qualifier going last to the podium. Spaces look likely to change as this final goes on. Of course, quick warm-up for all these athletes before they get underway. They do have warm-up equipment backstage, as it were, but it's important for them to get a feel of the apparatus in the arena. There will be subtle differences. It's important that they know exactly what they are dealing with because there is no margin for error. by that fall. That's making mistakes in the dress rehearsal. Thank you. 
Panama will be hopeful of posting a decent performance here. She is still in with a chance. And Chang up third best in qualifier, but already with two gold medals to her name at World Cup events this year. Can she make it a hat trick? The first vault in qualification was the better one. She scored a 13.6, difficulty of 5 and an 8.7 in terms of her execution. And it was good. She looks like she thinks so. And judging by the noise from the crowd, they think so too. She is also the Asian Games champion on this apparatus, took gold in Hangzhou in October. She actually took gold on the uneven bars in that same event as well. A very successful Asian Games campaign for her. And she is 20 years old. Paris will be her very first Olympic Games. Slight bend of the legs there throughout the air. Perhaps could have kept that shape a little tighter. Now in qualification, the second vault is worth 4.2 in terms of difficulty. And interestingly, even though the difficulty was lower, higher in terms of her execution she scored lower than she did for the first ball 8.533 nevertheless the score for her first ball here in the final is slightly higher than that of her first ball in qualification Sets the standard. Rushes off to greet the coach who is looking to light, delighted with her, her charges performance there. Of course, the pressure is off for this athlete because she knows she will be on that plane to Paris, so all she needs to do now is vault her absolute best for her chance at a medal at World Cup level. And I suppose there is something to be said for competing when the pressure's off like that. Often allows athletes a lot more freedom. Oftentimes, athletes do feel a lot more comfortable when, the, when they know that the job is already done. Interesting landing on that second vault. Didn't quite get the height that she needed. Almost ended up with a nose on the mat. Could have, could have done with getting up a bit higher there. To secure a better landing. is India's Deepa Kamakar who is up next. She was sixth best in qualification. Her first vault is worth a 5.2 in terms of difficulty. one of the more experienced athletes representing her nation at the 2016 Summer Olympic Games. 
gymnastics. And in doing so, became the first Indian female gymnast ever to compete at the Olympic Games. And also the first Indian gymnast in any discipline to compete at the Olympics since the 1964 Summer Games, 52 years prior to that. So she is the standard bearer for Indian gymnastics. finished fourth in the vault at her debut games in 2016 in Rio. Very much a vault specialist. Oh, that is a shame. Didn't execute the landing. She looked almost as if she rushed at that second bolt. Although the difficulty of that one is significantly down on the difficulty level of her first bolt, 4.4 the difficulty for that bolt. Although she did score highly in execution for that one in qualification, she won't be scoring highly for the execution this time around though, which is a shame. She looked a little off centre with that. legs bent throughout the air, didn't quite get the height that she needed to stick that landing. You could see there, as soon as she hit the table, she didn't have a body shape as she needed it to be. The legs were bent, they weren't together, and the face says it already. Frustration for the Indian athlete. shake of the head from the coach. Possibly think she should have scored higher. It was higher than her qualification score of 12.783. But certainly the landing on that second vault did let her down. Now Georgieva Valentina of Bulgaria has already qualified for the Paris Games. She was second best in qualification. Well, what a vault that was. Nicely done indeed. A little statement of intent from the Bulgarian teenager. She's just 17 years of age. She already has a handful of FIG medals to her name, World Cup medals. She is a junior European championship medalist on vault, took silver in person in Turkey in 2020. Been a senior since 2022. Although she didn't have the easiest start to life as a senior level gymnast, she qualified for the vault final at the European Championships in Munich. But she injured herself landing on the first of her two vaults in the final, and she couldn't finish the competition. She actually had to have surgery then on her ACL as well as her meniscus. So pretty difficult to start to life in the seniors for the Bulgarian teenager. Absolutely nailed the landing. And a 
it's fantastic to see the resilience from this young athlete. She returned to competition in 2024 at this World Cup series. And she said her intention when she returned to, to competition was to qualify for the Paris Olympic Games. Her first competition back was the Cairo World Cup. She picked up a silver medal on the vault between behind her and Shang Ok, who we've just been competing. She also picked up a silver at the Cockless World Cup, so we really have a fantastic rivalry shaping up between this gymnast here and Anne Chang Ok, two incredible athletes on the vault. She took gold then in Baku, and that's what secured her qualification for the Paris Games. So it really is a fantastic story of mental fortitude from this youngster. It's great to see her having recovered so well, both mentally and physically. She's achieved what she wanted to do. That was secure her Paris qualification. She's picked up a handful of medals along the way. And will she be picking up another one here today? So we'll have to wait a little while for the results for Georgieva. We'll head on to Nanazin Timorova of Azerbaijan. Another very young gymnast, just 16 years of age. Came through qualification. In eighth place. The first vault has a high difficulty rating, 8.7. As is her second, in fact, 8.766. Too difficult, or too well executed vault, rather. In terms of execution, a four point of difficulty rather this first vault is worth a 4.2 but her execution in the qualification was incredibly high experience for these young gymnasts to come to these World Cups. To reach the final as well is really quite an incredible achievement. three disciplines. The P team Cairo finished 14th in qualification on the vault. That was her best performance. So this is the first final she's made this year and that is a fantastic achievement for Tamarova. Certainly an improving gymnast. Halfway stage now of this vault final. 
3-3. Tamarova, which is higher than her qualification score, 12.716. Big smile there from the teenager. Good job, well done. Well, that is how things stand. Tina, who will be seeing a little later on. She'll be the penultimate gymnast to go on the vault. And what can we say about Chester Tina that we haven't already said? An absolutely incredibly inspiring athlete for, well, all of her fellow competitors, especially the youngsters. She's competing against gymnasts of 16, 17, and she is still. Oh, and still has that zest for competition. She approaches the age of 50, which is an incredible feat. Barisanova of Kazakhstan is next up. She finished qualification in seventh place. Sanova is next up, seventh best in qualification on the vault. One of the more experienced finalists in this, 26 years of age, now the Kazakhstani gymnast. Interestingly, most of her success has come on other apparatus. She's won a handful of medals at the Islamic Solidarity Games, and they've been on floor, beam, and on the bars. Nonetheless, she is here in the vault final. Thank you. 
Colts spent this the best result on the separators. That can be a challenge cup in less than 22. She finished fifth then. As I said, most of her success has come on other apparatus, but useful all rounder nonetheless. So 12.9 for vault number one is up on her qualification score. Second vault is a little lower down in terms of the difficulty rating, 3.8. Difficulty for her second vault. party atmosphere in the stadium in Doha, you can hear the music blaring out, the fans singing and dancing along, enjoying themselves, enjoying the action out there, as well as these athletes, I'm sure, enjoying themselves as well. She had a lovely clean shape throughout the air. She got a good height off the vault. Form nicely, and it was clean, tidy that bad thing as well. It took a while for it to join the legs together, the feet perhaps could have been a little more tightly pointed at times throughout the vault. She did score highly on her execution though in qualifying. Incredibly relaxed. 12.450. And she is slightly down in the qualifying for the Kazakhstani athlete. She is one of four Kazakhstanis representing their nations in the year of the next couple of days.
that second goal to his working goal. Just as her first is. Vault specialist. Thank 
it is. Carla Navas who takes the gold for Panama and Chang Ok in silver. Valentina Georgieva of Bulgaria. Finalists lining up in front of the judges before the competition gets underway. Well, this is going to be an incredibly complex final. That gymnast there will be the first to compete. The Portuguese athlete. Among the athletes here with the most to gain is Georgia Rose Brown of New Zealand. That gymnast there, she leads with 50 points despite not having scored in Baku. Sweden's Jennifer Williams doesn't appear in this final. She left Cottbus without Olympic qualification points. She's tied with Vanessa Masova of the Czech Republic, both on 48 points, too shy of uh, 50 points of Brown. However, neither of them have made this final. Natalie Westland of Sweden. She can make big gains in this final if she does better than she did in Baku. She finished fourth in qualification. So look out for a big performance from the Swede. This is going to be a very high quality final indeed. Because none other than Kaylee Nemour of Algeria leads the way the best gymnast in qualification. We'll have to wait a little while before we see her in action. She is the final gymnast to go. Will we be saving the best for last in this final? It's always exciting to see the very last gymnast, the highest in qualification, competing for last, because it means that the podium places are up for grabs all throughout that final. It will be Philippa Martins of Portugal who gets us underway to begin with. Two-time Olympian, 28 years old from Porto. And as ever, the athletes will have a short warm-up before the final gets underway. Of course, they're already warmed up. They've been warming up backstage behind the scenes, but there's nothing quite like getting a feel for the actual apparatus they'll be using during competition. is the New Zealander Georgia Rose Brown. She will be hopeful of a big performance here today to help her course towards the Paris Olympic Games. Twenty-nine year old is a very experienced gymnast. She 
first competed at the Doha World Cup way back in 2012, 14 years ago. Made her debut in this competition. From Portugal, Filipe Martins. Fifth best in qualification. Filipe Martins. Two-time Olympian representing Portugal in 2016 and 2020. The first Portuguese gymnast, in fact, to win a World Cup gold medal. It was a really assured performance from the athlete from Porto. Zero six six for her execution in qualification. Five point three in terms of her difficulty. The difficulty, the lowest of any of these finalists. The execution was where she really picked up the points. You suspect that she will score highly once again in terms of her execution in this final. relaxed, certainly enjoying her time in Doha. Only 5.3 difficulty routine. Is on the lower 
their side. 5.4 with a high execution once again for the Portuguese athlete. 13.433 is slightly up on the score she achieved in qualification. I'm sure she will be satisfied with that. She probably isn't hopeful of a podium place. But certainly an improvement from qualification. Aina Tsitsevets is a very young and exciting athlete. She's just 15 years of age, authorised neutral athlete. She made her senior international debut in Cairo. And she performs with real confidence, despite being just 15. She reached her first ever World Cup final in Cottbus earlier this year, finished in fourth in qualification and then took silver in the final. So she really has made quite an impression on this stage. She moves through these elements with such ease and grace. She really is very elegant and light throughout the air. Tidiness not quite there in the dismount, but a very solid routine indeed from Sitzevets. Really impressive for the teenager. Silver in the Cottbus final. Will she be on the podium for the sixth? Second successive World Cup event. Well, her qualification is really impressive. A 6.2 for difficulty, 7.466 for the execution. 13.666 overall. Only Kaylee and Amore scored higher. step forward on the landing but otherwise the job very well done indeed for Aina Tsitsevets. Well, she looks very much at home, very relaxed despite this only being. Third time she's appeared at this level, 13.6, slightly down on qualification that was a 13.666 but very consistent solid performance from the 15 year old. Georgia Rose Brown of New Zealand finished third in qualifying. Very experienced athlete. She's won medals at Commonwealth Games. She's competed at four World Championships. Helped Australia secure a silver medal at the 2014 Commonwealth Games now competes for New Zealand. This is her third World Cup, World Cup final this year. Fourth in Cairo, fifth in Cottbus. <laughs> Clean the show performance from the New Zealander. A slight step backwards. On landing, but nothing too perturbing.
looks incredibly relaxed. Anyway, the 29-year-old is hugely experienced. This is definitely not her first radi rodeo, and it really is fascinating to see the difference between these experienced athletes like Georgia Rose Brown and then the youngsters like Sitsevets just coming through, and it's really fantastic. They're competing on the same stage at the same level when you've got such a breadth of experience, a breadth of ages, and it really is what makes this sport so fascinating. Levi Uruva of the Philippines. Eighth in qualification. This is the first final that she's competed in this year, the 17-year-old. Look at the celebration from the crowd. Big support for the Philippine athlete. Born in California, but representing the qualification, the uh, Philippines. Eighth in qualification. Will she go better than that in this final? We saw her competing in Cottbus. Didn't make the final there. Didn't make the final in Cairo. This is the first time she is performing at this level. She did it with real confidence. Halfway point of this penultimate final of the day. She is nicely through all the transitions. place for the Filipino teenager. Look at the reaction from the crowd. Huge support for Levi Ruviva. She was making her debut in a World Cup final. qualifying and at this halfway stage she has got herself into a podium position can she stay there Miley's Brassart of Belgium is next up Wow, 
four athletes have already competed. Four more to go, including the athlete with the highest difficulty rating of any bars gymnast. Most difficult routine in the world. Kaylee Moore will be the final gymnast to compete on the bars in this final. France now representing Algeria. She really is a class apart. athletes just stopped to watch well, let's hope that that does not happen in the final and let's hope that she is unhurt by that landing well flat on her back could have been a lot worse she didn't land awkwardly on a neck or an ankle or Another limb, but certainly not the way she would have wanted her warm-up to go. This is Elise Brassart of Belgium. Represented her country at the 2020 Olympics. Competed at three World Championships, 2017, 18 and 19. years of age but she's already done a lot made her international debut in 2014 Brassard finished sixth in qualifying. Difficulty 5.7, which is around about the middle of the qualifying scores. by coaching staff before she makes her way over to the waiting area where she'll wait her results. And there is a look of resignation on her face there. Certainly would have been expecting better in that final.
Oh, it looked as though she hadn't positioned her body in a way that she felt comfortable to make her next move. So dismounted as opposed to falling and injuring herself. I think it was the right decision for her. Nevertheless, has resulted in a penalty and a low score of 12.066 for Brassard. This is Natalie Westland of Sweden. She will be hoping for a big performance here in order to boost her Olympic qualification hopes. She finished fourth in qualification. She finished sixth in the final in Cairo. Didn't make the final in Cottbus. And that is another disappointment for the young Swedish athlete. We well, have to wonder whether some nerves are at play here for these finalists. Stunning dismount. Just let down by that little part of the routine, and she wasn't able to execute properly. A slight shake of the head from the Swede. She knew she should have done better. She is just 18 years of age. She still has a lot more years ahead of her. executed landing. Very good dismount indeed. Great height, great form throughout the air, but the air. Margaret Ricci is having a few consolatory words from the coach. She certainly looks disappointed. You saw when she was making her way off the field of play that there was a slight shake of the head. She must be too hard on herself.
is really where she needed to pick up the points in her Olympic qualification hopes were to get a boost. And sadly, not to be for Natalie Westland finishing sixth so far as things stand 11.666, paying a heavy price for coming off the apparatus mid routine. Shevska of Ukraine is our penultimate athlete to go, finishing seventh in qualification. She's the 2022 junior European champion on beam. And here we see her on the bars. She will be at the Paris Olympic Games. She turned 16 in November. Became eligible for senior competition last year. Slight step forward on landing, big step forward rather on landing. But nevertheless, a confident and assured performance from the youngster. She's won a handful of medals at World Challenge Cups. She won gold on the beam and on the bars at the World Challenge Cup in Mersin last year. And then won gold on the beam in Hungary the same year. She's already competed at the World Championships. She didn't qualify for any finals. But a wonderful experience for the youngster. She took a silver. And that was a check. On the uneven bars. This year. And gold on the beam. So she is good on both the bars and the beam. Certainly a force to be reckoned with, with an incredibly promising future ahead of her. And she looks very relaxed out there as she awaits her results. She's already picking up so much experience despite being new onto the senior stage. She's already made an impact. She actually won gold on this event last year in Doha. She on the gold medal. And there will be no similar feat this year for Anna Lashevska. 13.166, fifth place as things stand. And last but not least, the athlete that doesn't really need much by way of introduction, Kelia Nemour. She has the most difficult an even bars routine in the world. Best in qualification. She scored a 15.4 in qualifying. All the others, it was a case of best of the rest. The next highest score was 13.66, not even in the 14s. This athlete is a class apart. Listen to the noise that's ringing out around the arena. She took a silver medal at the World Championships last year. She is the all around African champion. She will be in contention for an Olympic medal come July. Still just 17 years of age. Such an incredibly impressive performer on this apparatus. She won gold at both the Baku and Cottbus World Cups. Will she make it a third World Cup gold with this routine?
Singapore has a skill named after her. It's a release that is commonly called the Inbar Nabieva. She first performed it at the African Championships in 2023 and it is named after her now in the code of points. It's called the Nimor and it is an in bar to counter reverse laid out hecked over high bar with a difficulty rating of G. She is a very ambitious, highly skilled young athlete. The uneven bars is really where she comes into her own. Above the rest of the finalists, a third World Cup medal on uneven bars for the Algerian gymnast this year. She really is quite the talent. Taking it all in her stride. Just look at the gulf between first and second. Kayleena Moore is absolutely untouchable. Medalists of the women's vault competition. And Shangok and Valentina Georgieva entered this final, having already secured their Olympic spots. Georgieva, Valentina picking up the bronze as well. Be a face we will see again. We'll be seeing her in action at the Paris Games. And the same goes for this gymnast, and Chang Ok of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, picking up the silver with a score of 13.800. Just ahead of her with a score of 13.833. An incredibly tight finish between gold and silver. Carla Navas picks up the gold for Panama. Well, 
more photos for the medalists. I'm sure these will be memories they will treasure. Well, it seems that the photos aren't quite finished yet. Valentina Georgieva asking An Chang Ok and Colin Navas to come back up to the podium for more. I think that concludes their photo taking duties. And let's have another look at the gold medal winning vault. This is Carla Navas. uneven bars my goodness what an incredible final it was because of one woman Kaylee Nemour what an athlete she is such a talent on the uneven bars she really is streets apart but this athlete here what an incredible young athlete she is Aina Tsitsevets still just a teenager but making rapid progress collecting many World Cup medals already she made her senior international debut in Cairo winning a silver medal there and now she picks up another medal in her second senior final silver goes to Levi Rubivar of the Philippines and look how much it means to her what a huge smile across her face after picking up the silver on the bars but of course the winner was never in any doubt Kaylee Nemour the owner of the most difficult uneven bars routine in the world she has a skill named after her the African champion representing Algeria and there will be high high hopes indeed for her at the Paris Olympic Games. Congratulations to all the winners. Time for a selfie now. These little mementos are so important for these athletes.